my name's Karen and I work for CERNIT, a polymer clay manufacturer based in Belgium, distributed throughout the UK by Clayground. In today's video we're going to show you how to make a cute owl fridge magnet. Okay, so let's make an owl. We're going to be making an owl fridge magnet that looks like this one. So first of all, I've taken some brown clay, I've conditioned the clay and I've rolled the clay into a ball. Just remember that conditioning is important, so it's worth spending a little bit of time doing this. So I've rolled the clay into a ball. I'm going to take an acrylic block, which is usually used for rubber stamping, or you can use a ceramic tile on the smooth side. So I've flattened the clay, and then we're going to start shaping the clay to form the owl shape. So I'm just pinching at one end with my fingers to make the ears. So we're going to take the, the block, just shape it just a little bit. And there we have the basic owl shape. Now we're going to make the belly, which is this part here. So I'm taking some turquoise clay and I'm going to emboss the clay with a small embossing tool. If you don't have an embossing tool, you can use anything that you can press into the clay, like bits of old jewellery, cotton reels, things, lots of things really found around the home. So I've got this embossing tool, which is a little flower. So I'm just going to press this into the clay, which will give it a nice pattern. Then I'm going to take a circle cutter and just cut out a circle which we'll use for the belly. So placing the circle onto the owl, just give it a little press. Now we're going to add the wings. So I've rolled out some brown clay, you can use a pasta machine or a roller and this time we're going to be using a heart shape cutter. So press the heart shape into the clay. Take your blade and cut the heart shape in half. Now these look a little bit big so I'm just going to take off some little bits at each side just to make the wings slightly smaller. And then I'm just going to add the wings to the body. Like that. And now we're going to do the eyes. So I've taken some white clay and I've just rolled the white clay into a, a small sausage. And I'm going to cut two strips and then I'm just going to press them with my fingers just to, flat, just to flatten them slightly. Place the two eyes onto the owl. With your blade just make a crisscross design so straight across and then just Go all the way around, it doesn't have to be too perfect. And then we want some orange, so I've done the same with the orange. I'm just going to take, these are going to be slightly smaller than the white pieces. So again, just squeeze in your hands. pop those onto the white and then two little balls in the center of the eyes so it's just a little ball and then I'm just squeezing with my fingers. Once you get to that stage it's ready for the oven so you can place on a ceramic tile or a baking tray 
I'm going to be baking mine at 130 Celsius for around 15 to 20 minutes. But ovens do vary, so make sure you look at the instructions on the packet which say between 110 and 130 Celsius or 230 to 265 Fahrenheit. So off he goes into the oven and here's one I made earlier. And now we're going to show you how to decorate the wings and the eyes. So I've just put some acrylic paint onto a tile and I'm going to be using the other end of a paintbrush to make the dots. So I've got a paintbrush, I'm just going to dip the other end of the paintbrush into the paint. And I'm just going to apply these dots over the wings. And a cocktail stick dipped into some red, just a few dots on the belly and then just two dots of white in the eyes and there he is, he's all finished. Oh actually what you can do as well, like I, what I've done, is once the paint is completely dried you can apply some varnish on the wings and the eyes and a magnet on the back using some strong glue. So there he is, your owl fridge magnet. <laughs>